What is up my Richard Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay but today guys as you can see from the title of this video is the Battle Pass or the Season Pass Season 1 for Modern Warfare so this is going to be free and it basically is an image that I have up here now and it was tweeted out a while ago by the Call of Duty Twitter and it basically just says our most ambitious season of content ever. The first season of Modern Warfare is nearly here. New multiplayer maps, new ground war map, new 2v2 maps, new multiplayer modes, new spec ops, experiences and new weapons. So this all begins December 3rd on the same day for all platforms. Doesn't matter what platform you are on everybody gets it the same day and this is all for free and i'm kind of excited for this because there's some things that i actually kind of like in it as well so of course the first thing that we have to talk about is the new multiplayer maps that are coming back yes back so we bought we have crash and shipment that are on your screens and they are actually from the original call of duty modern warfare or cod 4 and of course vacant is not coming back from the picture that i see here vacant is not coming back vacant was not kind of a rundown old kind of school that they use for something else as well or computer place I, I don't really know i don't know any of the backstory of it but with vacant being the newest map of them all now of course like i said vacant isn't the same map from Modern Warfare. It looks to me more like a contamination place. That's the kind of feel I'm getting from the picture anyway. The next map, new map for Ground War is named Port. Now I'm presuming that this will be a completely new map. It won't be kind of another part of the map that's already there that's going to be unlocked. I'm presuming it's just a completely new one that they're going to build off. So i'm presuming this is going to be based on a huge shipping port like ones that you'd see in big countries that'll just have massive massive ports and it'll probably be something like the port in black ops 4 from blackout the small one from that well medium size one from that anyway it'll kind of look like that so we also have the new 2v2 maps which are cargo atrium and more um and more i presume well for me personally i presume that this means that there will be more in the game throughout either the season or more as in there'll be more coming out it isn't just these three maps it'll probably be six maps or four maps or five maps or something like that that's what i think i'm not really sure to be honest but you know i'll keep you updated up next we have the new multiplayer modes so we have reinforce gunfight osp and infected so the gun the game mode reinforce if it is based on the one that came before so we've seen it in ghosts and infinite war warfare where they've taken elements from both domination and search and destroy as well as the search and rescue one if we go on the information that we are told basically from both Ghost and Infinite Warfare, it is a three flag, three flags around the map and if someone is killed, they go into a spectator mode and will only respawn when a flag is secured by their team. And of course having the three flags will resor result in an automatic win of that round. Now this is more of a kind of for me personally this is more of a team working communicating kind of game mode so if this game mode it will be good to play if you have a full team play it only if you have a full team that would be my advice anyway maybe if there was three of you and if you had a noob on your team or a rando maybe you know you'd be okay that way but you'd prefer to have more people that you know that at least you can rely on so gunfight osp is basically one that we've seen in the beta i'm full sure or in the alpha it is spawning in with just your fists and you gotta basically run around looking for guns picking them up 
lethals and tacticals and you know it seems like a good game mode i don't particularly like 2v2 just because it just doesn't suit me but i'll probably play it every now and then i might do a series on it or something like that next we have a community favor now this one is what i am so hyped for this is infected now this was the best game mode for me personally from modern warfare 3 this is basically for anybody that hasn't played it it is that a player is picked at random at the start of the game to become infected this player gets a throw knife and then a knife under a uh, pistol but the pistol of course has no bullets i love this game mode and i feel this is gonna be a great game mode and oh, i thank god this is in the game because the game wasn't getting stale but it just kind of needed a new a new one or two game modes you know just for for now just to tie us over kind of thing but all in all it's decent enough next we have the new spec ops experiences these are bomb squad grounded pitch black just reward and more so these are basically new missions that are coming to the game now i've only played i think it's two missions in the spec ops and for me personally they need to fix this mode because this mode has huge potential to be so so good but they just really need to fix a lot of the stuff with it and of course i'll do a video soon on spec ops about what they can change in it and how they can change it and everything like that easy enough fixes you know easy enough fixes finally the new weapons are ram 7 and holger 26 now for me the ram 7 i don't know if anyone else kind of got that straight away if you remember back to the modern warfare uh there was a tar 21 and it seems kind of just the tar 21 just updated like better graphics looks nicer better material on it and all that and if this is the case then this weapon will be an smg that is good up close uh pretty good at medium and decent at long range now it'll be good to see how well they will do the weapon if they'll do the weapon justice from modern warfare 2 which was a fairly op kind of gun in modern warfare 2 if i if i remember my my modern warfare 2 days god that's going back a long time jesus i feel old god damn up next we have the holger 26 and this weapon kind of looks to be either an AR or an smg and it kind of it looks kind of like a g36c but of course it's a longer weapon and it's probably a lot better it'll probably be an lmg i was actually meant to say lmg not smg i, I don't know where my head was with that i'm just literally still looking at the picture but that's what it kind of looks like to me with the big ammo rounded ammo at the bottom of it looking really cool but you know if you can't really see where i'm getting the g36c from it i'm gonna put a picture of it up right probably right now to show you what the gun basically looks like and then show you the holger 26 as well like for me personally they kind of look a bit of the same so it'll be good to see either an AR or an lmg this gun will be so the title of this image is the best free content drop in call of duty history the biggest free content drop i think i said best don't know why i said best i'm tired leave me alone well yeah considering activision would only give us either like a free gun i think they did in ghosts or a camo kind of like a calling card kind of thing or something that we could do in game you know that's really it we didn't get anything that wasn't actually for free in cod to be honest and you know this is decent enough i kind of just want to talk about the woman as well you see her on it and you see her holding a weapon if this is the 
Holger 26, then this throws everything that I just said about it out the door. If that is the gun, then it is not an AR and it is not a LMG. It is a marksman rifle. And if it is, it'll probably, it looks like she has in her hand uh, the MK21, I think it was called, from Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3. It was one of those anyway. Decent gun, you know, decent gun. Not like the foul though, but yeah. That is it guys, this is the end of the video, I hope you guys did like it, if you did please hit the like button, please subscribe if you have not already, and if you want to stay up to date whenever I upload or go live, either on Twitch or Mixer, a uh, link to my Twitter will be down in the description below, where I manually update it almost every day, tweeting out random stuff, and then tweeting whenever I go live or whenever I upload or something like that. Also, my Twitter or my Twitch and my mixer will be down in the link in the description below as well. Check those out if you want. I'm going to try and live stream every weekend and then maybe every week, depending on the days, during the days anyway, when I am off college. And I think I'm off for about five weeks. So hopefully, a load more live streams and then kind of weekend live streams. Hopefully, fingers crossed. You never know. And yeah. That's it guys, hope you like, favorite, and subscribe, and peace.